Welcome back to Troy Drone Flights and I am Troy in this particular video. Well, I had a recent pickup and it's a pickup that I really needed and every drone enthusiast is going to need, especially if they're flying their drone more than most likely outside and that's a landing pad. For quite some time, I've been flying my drone, you know, without a landing pad. Um, and you know, when you land sometimes, if you, especially if you're landing in grass, sometimes the grass blades can get caught up inside of the rotors, possibly inside of the engine, or any kind of dust and debris may get caught in the engine and may damage those rotors and propellers and things of that nature. So I decided to just go out and get one. And you know, they're fairly inexpensive right now. And it's just something that every drone flyer uh, needs to have. And that's what I did. So mine just recently came in and let's talk about it. This particular landing pad that I purchased it was for $13.98, very inexpensive, $14. And it's made by the brand Homga Drones Landing Pad, Universal Waterproof D, 30 inch portable folding landing pads for RC drones, helicopters, DJI, Mavic Pro, Phantom 2, 3, 4 Pro, and to robotic 3DR solo landing pad. It's basically a landing pad pretty much for every reasonable size drone um, at this particular moment. And um, I'm very excited to, uh, you know, open this thing up and test it out. So let's open it up and check out the content that comes inside of this particular package. Right off the packaging, as you can see, you have this large 30 inch round circle drone landing pad with a huge H on it. Now, what you can also see, you have three yellow plastic stakes. So if you're planning on flying your drone in a wooded area where there's a lot of grass, you just basically stick those three plastic stakes in the three slots and they're pretty much stabilized and keep your landing pad in place so that when you're landing your drone, you don't gotta worry about the wind kicking it up anything of that nature, you have a precise, safe landing. Also, to the left, as you can see, those are red reflective stickers that you can put on the landing pad. So if you're flying your drone at night or the visibility isn't that great, you know, you can still have an idea where the landing pad is. But what's really cool is that, you know, with a lot of drones, they come with a lot of great technology. And with the great technology, you know, they have a lot of software in that, you know, can pick up on different landing, computing points and locations and designations. And most of the time, you know, they can pick up color as well. So before you take off with a DJI drone, you know, your return to home location is automatically dialed in. So immediately before you even fly off, your drone already knows where to return to. But also, if your drone has sensors on the bottom of it, depending on what kind of drone you have from DJI, you know, it can also recognize the color of the location of the landing pad that you actually have. So this is blue and it's not that bright, right? But what's cool is you can actually turn this on the opposite side and it's orange. And orange is fairly uh, or easy recognizable color that different software sensors can pick up and you can normally land your drone either on the pad or within vicinity of the pad. So I kind of find that really cool. But without further ado, let's check this thing out in the real world and see what this thing is all about. So we finally made it outside. We have the Mavic Mini. We're about to test out the landing pad that I recently purchased for it. So we're gonna check out the takeoff. We're gonna check out the three plastic stakes, see how it fares. It is fairly windy right now. And we're gonna see how it does. So we have the Mavic Mini out, unpacked, um, ready to take off. As you can hear in the audio, more than most likely it's fairly windy out. Uh, we're gonna be taking off, obviously flying uh, below 400 feet, um, not flying over any crowds. Uh, staying within eyesight distance of the drone, not flying in the direction or the vicinity of any airports 
of course with the DJI software it would not allow you to take off with in vicinity of an airport regardless so um, you can't even fly this drone if you were close proximity to an airport now other drones you can um, and you're taking the risk at doing that but with the DJI drones that software is kind of foolproof and it's uh, for your safety and the safety of uh, you know folks that are flying so let's take this drone out and get it in the sky and start flying 